Welcome to the project demonstration of solar powered agri multi purpose agri watch with uh, bluetooth control and grass cutting. So here the total features are one is grass cutting and uh, seed sowing and next water and plowing backside of this robotic vehicle. So the whole robot will move in four directions forward, backward, left, right movements and seed sowing based on the commands from the bluetooth mobile phone and also water will be controlled and grass cutter will be controlled. So here the whole system getting power supply from this uh, uh, 12 volt solar panel and that is the input to the rechargeable battery. So we are using 12 volt 3 amp. So we can see this battery pack consists of 3 sub batteries. So each sub battery has a 3, 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp and 12 volt 1 amp and 12 volt 1 amp. So that we will get 12 volt 3 amps. So which is the main operating voltage operating uh, power supply to the whole system. So this 12 volts is operating voltage for the grass cutter, seed sowing and water pumping and the robot or uh, DC motors. But our microcontrol in 5 volts power supply. For that purpose we placed a 7805 regulator on this L293D board. So which will take 12 volts DC input and provide us the 5 volts DC output. So for controlling purpose of this robot movement L293D motor driver placed and to control the water pump and seed sowing motor and grass cutter we are using the relay section so one relay for grass cutter one relay for seed sowing and one relay for water pumping so coming to the recharge section of this battery so we can recharge the battery in two ways so one source is a solar panel so when you want to charge a battery from the solar panel just we need to disconnect this T from this T or S slots connect the solar panel S at this S slot. Now the battery will charge with help of sunlight from the solar panel. So we can see the light in, uh, intensity due to this tube light intensity also we are getting low voltage that's why the intensity is very low. And when you want to charge a battery from the transformer just connect the T at this T or S slots and now on the power supply to the uh, power cable of this transformer then uh, this transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and that will be converted into DC with the help of this charging circuit. So the battery will get fully charged in a duration of 8 hours maximum either from the transformer or solar panel. After the battery is getting fully charged in the duration you can disconnect the power supply from the transformer and keep this aside. The final demonstration disconnect the transformer because the transformer is only for secondary source of charging and connect the solar panel as our main aim of the project is solar powered multi-purpose agriculture robots so now we have connected the solar panel over here keep the voice securely and the next let us uh, go with the connections so we have connected the l 293 motor driver at pin number C02 C3 pin of our PIC 16F72 microcontroller and Bluetooth module which is a main communication module between the your mobile phone and our microcontroller connected at pin number B0 B1 and C5 C6 C7 respectively for this relays directly. So these are the main components in our projects. Let us see the demonstration. So before on the kit install application from the play store that is uh, hc05 type hc05 then we will get a serial communication module app this is the icon of the application install that and open that and then on the power supply to the kit so initially the system will blink fast on this bluetooth module go to bluetooth settings uh, right so search for new device hc05 pair to that from your play store initial from settings initially the password is one two three four on successful pair from the settings is only first time setup we need to do from the settings next time onwards you can directly go to the application as the system will remember that in your devices hc05 connection was made here right coming to the controllings so if you want to control the robot in forward motion we need to enter the small f for forward small b backward small l left small r right small s stop and the next capital a capital c 
capital D to control these motors. So let us see the demonstration on the floor. Right now let us see. So small f. So the robot will move forward and next backward and yes to stop the robots. Same B backward and R will take the right direction and next S stop and L for left rotation S for stop and the next controlling of the motors like small capital A so the water is pumping and small a so the motor will get switched off and next capital A small a for water pumping and the next capital B so the C it's not capital B capital C capital A capital C capital D so C it's motor got switched on we can see the C it's motor over here right and small c for seats motor off and next capital d for grass cutting small d for grass cutting off Capital D, we can check. And we can control the robot in forward motion. Right.